even the air became the subject of close examination by a Greek from Sicily named Empedocles. He made an astonishing discovery with a household implement that people had used for centuries. This is the so-called water thief. It's a brazen sphere with a neck and a hole at the top and a set of little holes at the bottom. It was used as a kitchen ladle. You fill it by immersing it in water. If after it's been in there a little bit, you pull it out with the neck uncovered, then the water trickles out the little holes making a small shower. Instead, if you pull it out with the neck covered, the water is retained. Now, try to fill it with the neck covered with my thumb. Nothing happens. Why not? There's something in the way. Some material is blocking the access of the water into the sphere. I can't see any such material. What could it be? Empedocles identified it as air. What else could it be? A thing you can't see can exert pressure, can frustrate my wish to fill this vessel with water if I were dumb enough to leave my thumb on the neck. Empedocles had discovered the invisible. Air, he thought, must be matter in a form so finely divided that it couldn't be seen. 